right? You want the, the made for life, the perfect wife or husband, or you want the, the big house on the hill, or you want the perfect job or the best promotion, right? Boils down to one thing. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? See, I found out, I made a study. Since about 1987, I started paying attention. I started reading a lot. And I started paying attention to why some people succeeded and why some people didn't. Okay? And, and you know, success is kind of like, a, it's, it's relative. Right? I mean, what somebody you might think is successful might be totally different to you. That's, it's not about money. It's about fulfillment. But what I started studying is all these different people. And one thing I found that we all have in common, if you're living and breathing and you're on this planet, we all have this thing inside us, nebulous thing. You can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't hear it, you can't taste it, you can't touch it. You don't know it's there. It's called potential. Everybody. Nobody's left out. <laughs> see, the past doesn't equal the future. It's today. This is all I got today. And it's cool. It's, my life is good. But that is one of the best things that happened to me for one reason. It motivated me to do something. See, I'm on the couch around 14 years old and I'm not feeling too good. You know what saved my life? Not just, the Tourette's was a horrible thing and that didn't save my life. I just would say, I'd pray, take it away. No, I still got, you know what saved my life? One thing, this. Now you're looking at this, people are looking at, what, a little red ball? Yeah, a little red ball saved my life, believe it or not. One down in Jerry, that cool? Yeah, the little ball behind you. So not me, there's another one back there, I want you to hear like, yeah, you're supposed to laugh for that whole. Now where's the other ball? <laughs> Still in your mouth. Magic got me through Tourette's in those early days. Magic became, I lived, breathed, ate, slept magic. It was my purpose. It was my passion. It, it was my huge hobby. It became an avocation through college. I paid a lot of bills going to college. It eventually became my living. But my point is, I had these abilities. It was just a passion. See, for you to be a leader, for you to be an... ER or work your way through the chairs. There's no such thing as a born leader. All it is, leadership is a choice. I do a whole, I used to speak to kids. I've spoken to kids all over the country, high schools, middle schools, and I do a program called Leadership is a Choice. It's the myth of the born leader. Oh, he's a born leader. He's got, no, no, no. <laughs> I've heard it say, you know, most people, and I don't mean to be derogatory, are like sheep. They're just waiting to be led. And there, one guy in my industry that started the National Speakers Association, I believe he said, most people are like walking around with their umbilical cords in their hand, waiting, looking for some place to plug it in. <laughs> they want to be taken care of. They want to be led. See, leadership boils down to stepping up and saying, I'll do it. Let me tell you something, folks. It's not hard. All you got to do is raise your hand and say, I'm going to take the helm. The buck stops here.